Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Every Black Family of Websites uh, webinar. Good to, glad that you can make it tonight, this evening. Uh, we just want to thank you. My name is Audrey Smith. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Every Black Family of Websites. Glad to see you could make it this evening. Uh, my name is Audrey Smith. I'll be hosting uh, the webinar for tonight. Um, just want to give a shout out to Jimmy Davies, uh, the owner of the Every Black Family of Websites. Hope that you all have joined the website. Just to give you a little bit about me. Once again, my name is Audrey Smith. Um, I work for a Fortune 50 company um, where I do conflict resolution, uh, products and sales. Uh, so I'll be sharing tonight with you a little bit about essential keys to world-class customer service. So when you think about world-class customer service, it's not always with big businesses. It could be with small businesses as well. So um, most of the time when we are thinking about customer service, we think it's a, a world-class customer service. We think that it is a hard task or something complicated just because it says world-class customer service. Well, it is that simple. It's very simple. And I'll be sharing just a few keys with you uh, where you can take your business to the next level uh, with customer service. Um, so with just that said, um, one of our main goals uh, for a, any service related business is to build a loyal customer service base, making sure the customers are consistently happy with their services and products. You know, customers have many choices of where they want to do business, who they want to do business with. Uh, that, is, that is important because we have to treat our customers with respect and take and not take them for granted because we want them to do business with us. So uh, we have to always remember that. Um, also, I'll be going over what I think is the number one component or one of the components that I find that sets a business apart from others uh, is going above and beyond to make the customer happy. And by doing that, You'll, you'll find returning customers who will be purchasing your products or services, new customers coming on, and an increase in profit, will, which will allow you to grow your business. So those are some of the things that you want to think about when you think about world-class customer service and being there for the customer. So to set yourself apart from the competitor, there are always always room for growing and learning about customer service so that you can meet the needs of your customers and their desires. So I do recommend you take some classes, get in some training classes, and also if you have employees that you want, you want them to be trained and you want to meet with them all the time to make sure that they're providing the type of customer service uh, to your, in your customers and for your business. So one of the keys uh, that I feel is very important, I know is very important, is that you have to be accessible to your customers. You know, you want to be able for your customer to contact you um, or someone in your company who is representing you. Should they have a, a, a require? Should they have a question or have a uh, a, a service need that they are needing and just need to ask you a question. And when thinking about that, you have to think about when that phone rings and that customer is calling you, you want to be sure you answer that phone quickly. Most of the time, a customer will allow three or five rings and they are off to find the next business to assist them with their needs. So always make sure that uh, you are answering your phone uh, promptly. And when answering the phone or greeting the customer in person, you want to always smile. You know, smiling shows a customer that you value them, that you're glad that you could serve them, you're glad that they're there. 
you know, it lets the customer know uh, you're there to help them. Uh, also, uh, other reasons when answering a phone, it is important to smile even through a phone call because customers can hear a smile over the phone, uh, which sets a more pleasant experience for you and them. So always remember the smile, be likable, and don't allow your personal situations or your problems to affect the way you communicate with your customers. Your customers deserve the best from you at all times and from your employees. Be the best that you can be and always do your best. Delivering the world-class customer service will result in growing your business and landing new customers, as I mentioned. Uh, let your results speak for themselves and you'll find your customer, your company growing and you will be landing those new customers once again, as I've said. The second thing that I just want to talk about is being a good listener. So you want to listen to your customer. Uh, sometimes customers may be vague in what their services or products that they're needing or what they're upset about, you know, with your products or service. You have to ask also those probing questions so that you find out what the customer is really desiring and complaining about. Be engaging with your customer. And by doing this, you will find a greater understand, have a greater understanding of who they are and what their needs are. And you just never know. They may come for one product or one service and you end up upgrading them to something else that they didn't even know that you could provide the service for. And remember, people don't buy products or services. They buy solutions to their problems. So we want to always keep that in mind as well. So in, in saying that, I'll just tell, us, tell you a story about an experience that I had um, at my job. Uh, as I mentioned, I work for a Fortune 50 company. Um, we had, I get a, a work in customer service. I get a phone call from a customer. He's a contractor. He's in the area for five years. He's got big projects going on. He's turning a fabric mill into condos, have other projects and buildings that he's going to be returning into apartments and other condos. So he had made a purchase around $10,000 from us and nothing went right. And he had to have an inspection the next day. Well, the customer was upset because nothing was delivered. Things were damaged. Uh, I could understand him being upset and I, I apologized to him and let him know that I was going to be there for him. Uh, I listened to what the customer had to say. I built that rapport. I even acknowledged back to the customer what his issue was. By me doing that, let, that let the customer know that I heard him and that I was listening and that I was passionate about what was going on with him. So I, called the, I told the customer that I would call him back if he would allow me 30 minutes, give me an opportunity to rectify the issue for him. So I did call the store. I spoke with the manager who connected me with the coordinator. We discussed the issue. I looked up his orders and surely enough, he had spent $10,000 in one day on these products that he needed for the inspection. She looked up the information and she said she would call the customer and gave me a time frame that she would call the customer. So I called the customer back within that 30 minutes and I told him exactly what we were going to do. I even explained to him what the process was and why we were going through the process. I assured him that we would have everything that he needed by tomorrow, have it installed, have it in assembled, and he would have it for his inspection. So I hung up from the customer and I began my work. I knew that we had to retain this customer because he was returning all $10,000 worth of the products. So I, the coordinator and I 
We worked back and forth. I stayed over for about three hours, coordinating with other store locations, making sure they had the products. We were sending out all new products to the customer, and we had to have all these products out by the next day and by 12 o'clock. So we had employees that were staying over. They were checking the products. We had trucks delivering from certain store locations. And we had, pro we had them up that morning and we had product delivered to the customer. We had products assembled. We had products in place. And this customer was able to pass the inspection that he needed. Now, by doing that, I went above and beyond. I exceeded the customer's expectations when things didn't go as well as they should have. And the customer was very appreciative. And because of that, we were able to retain this customer and not only retain the customers, uh, re we, we build that trust back and that confidence that we would take care of any matter that may happen. And we were able to land uh, the contracts with the other projects that he had going on. And not only did we double in sales, we tripled our sales enormously. So though, that is one way of providing world-class customer service. You want to over-deliver. You want to take care of those customers when things happen. And even when it's not things that are happening, you know, and things are going well, you want to follow up with the customer. You want to check on them. You want to make sure that they're happy and that they're getting everything that they need. Um, so by doing that, I got a letter from the CEO thanking me for taking ownership. And this is something that we should always train our employees is to learn how to take ownership and not want to pass it off to the next person. Take ownership. Let that customer know that you're going to, if you can't resolve it, you're going to get somebody there that will resolve their issue or answer their questions or just in something that they're inquiring about and know your product, know your services. So, you know, um, and you want to always be there to listen to the customer, as I stated. You'll find out so much when you listen to the customer and you're able to resolve any issues that may arise. And one other thing uh, when you're doing that, uh, by being a good listener, you want to make sure that you do not jump in and start defending your cut your yourself or your company or your product. Just listen. Um, you know. And who knows, they just may have a valid point for you. And maybe something that you didn't know about your business or your product that you can improve on or your services. So, so always make sure uh, that you are, you're listening to your customers. And um, so, yeah. You can also find the need behind the need. Uh, when a customer calls you, they're wanting something, they're needing something. Customers love it when you engage with them. And they do feel that you value them and you care about them and you want them to accomplish uh, whatever they set out to, to achieve. Uh, ask those probing questions, you know, dig in there. Um, just, just take care of the customer. Another thing that you want to do is you want to always show empathy. Now, what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to identify with and understand another situation, uh, another person's situation or their feelings. So, um, and when things go wrong with the products or services or delays, show empathy. Uh, Apologize to the customer and tell them why you're apologizing to them. Give the customer time to vent because most of the time that's all they want to do, you know, and take personal responsibility for anything. Take responsibility for anything that we may have 
uh, cause the customer inconvenience on. Um, if you have an un unhappy customer or you're upset or upset customer, it's your job to find out why they feel this way and use the information to improve your services or your product. Always respond and not react. You know, you can always respond to, just because a customer is uh, displaying a negative behavior, um, doesn't mean that you have to uh, go and display that behavior. You, you need to stay calm. Uh, one way by staying calm, you will diffuse um, the situation. Again, uh, ask those program questions to find out more about what the problems are. Move quickly to correct these issues with the unhappy customer. And I can tell you that failing to act on the situation to turn it around, you could lose that customer, damage your reputation, and lose the chance up for potential prospects. And create a solution for the customer. You may have to give a discount or provide a free service to the customer, a gift card, you want your customers to be happy and to come back. And no matter how mad they get in the beginning, because, and there may be nothing that you can do about the situation. It's just the way it is. They will come back to purchase more product from you or services, especially when they know that you have made an effort to assist them. And clarify the re resolution with the customer to make sure that they are happy. Never tip around the issue or hope. Uh, it will just go away. Most of the time it won't, and it's not good for your business. And one thing you wanna avoid is getting a call or a letter from the Better Business Bureau. That is not good. And be honest within all your engagements with your customers, even if, you're, if, they're make, if you made the mistake. Customers like honesty and will be willing to give you another chance. Another key, essential key uh, to world-class customer service. Now, once again, as I stated, world-class customer service doesn't always mean a big business. It is a small business as well. And remember, customers always have the choice of who they want to do business with. We always want to provide Go above and beyond. Be creative with our customer service. Uh, the next thing you want to do is honor your commitments and do what you say. You know how irritating it could be uh, to promise someone something or someone promises you something, such as a call back, an email, certain types of products or service, and you don't get it. This is the same way that the customer feels. Um, this is a good way to dampen the relationship. It can't, if you can't deliver the promise, then let the customer know. Be honest and upfront with the customer. You know, um, although it may be hard to admit that you overpromise, most will be forgiven whenever you do that. and be willing to help the customer through whatever it is that you need to help them through. If you know that you need to call a customer back on a question or a resolution, give them a specific time and be sure to call that customer back. That right there is gonna be the number one key in how your customer will trust your business and be on time. If you tell a customer you're gonna be there a certain time, be there. If for any reason you're late, attempt to let the customer know ahead of time. Not 10 minutes, not, not 20 minutes, not 30 minutes. As soon as you find out, even if it's up to two hours, let the customer know. And always keep in mind that the customer's time is just as valuable as your time in your business and you will earn the trust and respect of your customers. You must follow through at all times. 
And that's, that's also a part of a credibility. You want to show them that you have morals and standards in your business. So remember, uh, if you provide excellent customer service to your customers, the word will travel fast. And on the other side, negative feedback to tends to spread even faster. Just want to tell you a little bit of story why I am so passionate about customer service. My first job, I worked at a nursing home. Young, going to college, just doing what they tell me to do, going through, taking care of the patients like they tell me to do it. And after doing that, feeding and take, you know, doing everything. I had one customer one morning to tell me, and she thanked me for giving her a warm rag to wash her face. And that meant a lot to me. And that I paused and I said, there's a greater and a bigger reason for my life. I need to serve. And one way of serving is through customer service. It's being there for that person. And like I said, you're not selling a product. You're not selling a service. You're selling a, a solution to a customer's problem. And last but not least, say thank you to your customers, even if things didn't turn out to be expect as they were expected. Your customers, are paving the way to your success. So we have to always be respectful and be considerate of the customer. And once again, they want to feel valued and they want to think that they have a two-way relationship with your business. So there are some keys to be uh, on your way to provide world-class customer service, even in a small business. And one more thing that I want to leave with you, and that is that you need to check yourself. You know, leadership sets the tone for business. So if you have a bad attitude or you're cranky, um, not a good listener, too enthusiastic, just want to make that money, you know, the customers, they suffer behind that. And your employees will display the same type of attitude that you're having. So think about that. Check yourself. Make sure that you're representing your, your business in front of your employees and conducting yourself in the manner that you should conduct yourself uh, for your business. So once again, I just want to thank you um, for joining me on the every. Black Family of Websites. I do want to let you know that you can tune in every Thursday. Uh, next week, we're going to have Joy uh, Abdullah on. She's going to be talking about eating to live. Um, that's going to be July the 21st. And, it's, and then we're going to have on July the 28th, we're going to have Alan Banks on you know, how he turned his life around. Um, so if you haven't joined the website or visit the website, we ask that you do join one of our websites. If you would like to be a volunteer, uh, please email Jimmy at Jimmy at every black dot. Also, if you have any questions about any customer service, um, tips, uh, anything that you need to work out with a customer, just you can email me at Audrey at every black. Once again, that's Audrey at every black. Also, you can text me at 336-844-1456. Once again, thank you for joining us and you have a great evening.